Welcome to our continuing series, Fine Poetry, Poems That Touch Deeper Chords. Today, Ezra Pound. <clears throat> Ezra Weston Loomis Pound was an American expatriate poet and critic of the early modernist movement. His contribution to poetry began with his promotion of imagism, a movement that called for a return to more classical values, stressing clarity, precision, and economy of language. And he had an interest in verse forms such as the Japanese haiku. His best known works include Repose, Hugh, Selwyn, Morbelly, and his unfinished 120 section epic, The Cantos. Working in London and Paris in the early 20th century, as foreign editor of several American literary magazines, Pound helped to discover and shape the work of contemporaries such as T.S. Eliot, James Joyce, Robert Frost, and Ernest Hemingway. He was responsible for the publication in 1915 of Eliot's The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, and for the serialization from 1918 of Joyce's Ulysses. Hemingway wrote of him in 1925, he defends his friends when they are attacked. He gets them into magazines and out of jail. He writes articles about them. He introduces them to wealthy women. He gets publishers to take their books. He sits up all night with them when they claim to be dying. He advances them hospital expenses and dissuades them from suicide. Sri Aurobindo, in his letters on Savitri, mentions Ezra Pound once. Quote, Flask is a French word meaning slack, loose, flaccid, etc., I have more than once tried to thrust in a French word like this. For instance, a harlot empress in a bouge, somewhat after the manner of Eliot and Ezra Pound. And now his first poem. And thus in Nineveh, I, I am a poet, and upon my tomb Shall maidens scatter rose leaves, and men myrtles, ere the night slays day with her dark sword? Lo, this thing is not mine, nor thine to hinder, for the custom is full old, and here in Nineveh have I beheld many a singer pass and take his place in those dim halls where no man troubleth his sleep or song. And many a one hath sung his songs more craftily, more subtle-souled than I. And many a one now doth surpass my wave-worn beauty with his wind of flowers. Yet am I poet, and upon my tomb shall all men scatter rose leaves, ere the night slay light with her blue sword. It is not Rana that my song rings highest, or more sweet in tone than any, but that I am here a poet that doth drink of life as lesser men drink wine. And the days are not full enough, and the days 
are not full enough and the nights are not full enough and life slips by like a field mouse not shaking the grass. Ballad for gloom for God our God is a gallant foe that playeth behind the veil. I have loved my God as a child at heart that seeketh deep bosoms for rest. I have loved my God as a maid to man, but lo, this thing is best, to love your God as a gallant foe that plays behind the veil, to meet your God as the night winds meet beyond Arcturus pale. I have played with God for a woman. I have staked with my God for truth. I have lost to my God as a man clear-eyed. His dice be not of Ruth. For I am made as a naked blade. But hear ye this thing in sooth. Who loseth to God as man to man shall win at the turn of the game. I have drawn my blade where the lightnings meet, but the ending is the same. Who loseth to God as the sword blades lose shall win at the end of the game. For God, our God, is a gallant foe that playeth behind the veil, whom God deigns not to overthrow, hath need of triple mail. Bala Teta The light became her grace and dwelt among blind eyes and shadows that are formed as men. Lo, how the light doth melt us into song. The broken sunlight for a helm she beareth, who hath my heart in jurisdiction. In wild wood never fawn nor fallow fareth, so silent light. No gossamer is spun so delicate as she is when the sun drives the clear emeralds from the bended grasses, lest they should parch too swiftly where she passes. Come to my cantillations. Come to my cantillations. Let us dump our hatreds into one bunch and be done with them. Hot sun, clear water, fresh wind, let me be free of pavements. Let me be free of the printers. Let come beautiful people wearing raw silk of good color. Let come the graceful speakers. Let come the ready of wit. Let come the gay of manner, the insolent and the exulting. We speak of burnished lakes of dry air as clear as metal. Commission, go my songs to the lonely and the unsatisfied. Go also to the nerve-wracked. Go to the enslaved by convention. Bear to them my contempt for their oppressors. Go as a great wave of cool water, bear my contempt of oppressors. Speak against unconscious oppression. Speak against the tyranny of the unimaginative. Speak against bonds. Go to the bourgeoisie who is dying of her ennui. Go to the women in suburbs. Go to the hideously wedded. Go to them whose failure is concealed. Go to the 
unluckily mated, go to the bought wife, go to the woman entailed, go to those who have delicate lust, go to those whose delicate desires are thwarted, go like a blight upon the dullness of the world, go with your edge against this, strengthen the subtle cords, bring confidence upon the algae and the tentacles of the soil. Go in a friendly manner. Go with an open speech. Be eager to find new evils and new good. Be against all forms of oppression. Go to those who are thickened with middle age, to those who have lost their interest. Go to the adolescent who are smothered in family. Oh, how hideous it is to see three generations of one house gathered together. It is like an old tree with shoots and with some branches rotted and falling. Go out and defy opinion. Go against this vegetable bondage of the blood. Be against all sorts of mormain. Di Egypto. I, even I, am he who knoweth the roads through the sky, and the wind thereof is my body. I have beheld the Lady of Life, I, even I, who fly with the swallows. Green and gray is her raiment, trailing along the wind. I, even I, am he who knoweth the roads through the sky, and the wind thereof is my body. Manus animam thinks it. My pen is in my hand to write the acceptable word, my mouth to chant the pure singing. Who hath the mouth to receive it, the song of the lotus of Kumi? I, even I, am he who knoweth the roads through the sky and the wind thereof is my body. I am the flame that riseth in the sun, I, even I, who fly with the swallows. The moon is upon my forehead, the winds are under my lips. The moon is a great pearl in the waters of sapphire, cool to my fingers the flowing waters. I, even I, am he who knoweth the roads through the sky, and the wind thereof is my body. And the last poem, Dom Capitolium Scandit. How many will come after me, singing as well as I sing, none better, telling the heart of their truth as I have taught them to tell it. Fruit of my seed, O my unnameable children, know then that I loved you from aforetime, clear speakers, naked in the sun, untrammeled.